Hi everyone, this is Sail from Quicknote and in this video we will learn how we can create a Twitter or X AI agent using Coinbase AI agent kit. So without any ado, let's jump into it. So before understanding and setting up the code base, let's understand the components of our AI agent. There will be three major components of our AI agent. The first will be blockchain operations component, the second will be user interaction component and the third will be AI decision making component. So what will happen is or how the flow will look like is whenever a user tags or mentions our AI agent on Twitter, it will send a request to AI decision making component via Twitter API and based on the type of request which will be recognized and determined by the LLM model using OpenAI and Anthropic APIs which uses GPT or Claude models it will determine what's the kind of request and then it will send that request to blockchain operations component and based on the type of request it will either deploy a smart contract execute a transaction or manage a wallet or even get basic information from chain so all of that will be handled by coinbase ai agent kit along with cdp sdk from coinbase which is coinbase development platform sdk and then once it's executed it will send the request back to our Twitter AI agent using this Twitter integration tool. Everything is controlled by our base AI agent controller class. And this kind of modular setup in the Coinbase AI agent kit helps you add any kind of functionality to your AI agent. The Coinbase AI agent kit comes with two default operation modes, autonomous mode and interactive mode. But we have added a custom Twitter mode so that our agent can interact with Twitter APIs and give responses there. Now that we have a good high level understanding of the components behind our agent, let's understand the code base of our AI agent and the code which we will be seeing will be linked in the description below as well. So the first thing what you'll need to do is install the Coinbase AI agent kit add-on from Cryptnode Marketplace and to install that you can go to any of the endpoint, navigate to the add-on section and look for the Coinbase AI agent kit add-on. And once you find it, you can click on explore and then install it. It's free to install. And once it's installed, you can click on getting started from where it will take you to the Coinbase AI agent kit documentation using which you can understand that how the SDK works and implement your own. But let's understand the sample app which we have created. And this is the sample AI agent which we have created. It's under the sample apps mono repo of Quicknote sample apps. And you can get access to it by simply cloning the repository and uh, this will be linked in the description below as well and once clone let's make our sample app the working directory and do npm install once everything is installed let's open it in a code editor okay so we already have a example environment variable file so what we will need to do is we will need to copy the example environment variable content to an actual environment variable so we will need these things to make our twitter ai agent work so the first and foremost thing will be the coinbase developer platform api key and private key you can get those by first signing up for the coinbase developer platform and then creating a new key so what you can do is create a new key just like this and add permissions to trade and transfer create the key complete the two-factor authentication and once the authentication is complete you will get an api key like this so you need to copy the api key name and secret which you can fill over here then comes the twitter credentials to get your twitter credentials first what you will need to do is you need to create a bot account for your twitter bot which may look something like this or depending upon you whatever you want to call it whatever you want to add to it, the bot's profile picture etc now log in to twitter's developer portal or x developer portal with the same account you created your bot account with in there you will see a default project you can also create a new project and in that default project you'll see an app again you can also create a new project and a new app Inside that, what you need to do is you need to click on edit under the user authentication settings and give your app permission to read and write or read and write and direct message. 
and select the native app then you'll need to fill in a bunch of information so if you are creating a bot and it has a website you'll need to add the website link over here you'll need to add the callback uri or redirect url over here then what you need to do is you need to go to the keys and tokens section from there you need to regenerate api key and api key secret because you just changed your permissions or your apps permission so you need to regenerate it and same goes to access token and access token secret as well. You'll need to degenerate it and uh, bearer token as well. So you need the bearer token to get the user ID of your Twitter bot. Basically, you enter the bearer token, enter the username of the bot and send the request and you can get the ID like this. So this will be linked in the description as well. And uh, finally, you'll need to enter the api key for open api because that's the llm provider we will be using once you have all of that set up you can create a agent.ts file which will be your main file your autonomous.ts file your check mentions.ts file your test.ts file so in autonomous.ts file what we have basically done is we have initialized the base ai agent class and we are running the bot in autonomous mode in check mentions what we are doing is we are again initializing the base ai agent class and running it on mentions mode which will poll for mentions then comes the agent where we are first importing all the things which we will be needing like the cdp agent kit core cdp langchain the coinbase ai agent kit also supports langchain which helps us interact and handle large language models or llms and then importing a bunch of stuff from langchain over here then we are also importing the twitter api because we need that to in interact with our twitter api then importing everything from dot env and file system then what we are doing is we are configuring the wallet if a wallet file already exists we are getting that from wallet data.txt it's not there right now but once you run the bot for the first time it will get auto generated then we are creating the class base ai agent which will hold the agent kit created by Coinbase agent kit, uh, React agent, which is a conversational type of agent, the Twitter client, all the configs of our agent are set to keep track of all the process tweets and another property to store the ID of the last process mentions. Then we are initializing a constructor where we are initializing the Twitter client using all the things which we stored in the environment variables. Then we are creating the initialize class and creating a variable wallet data storage or wallet data str where first we will check if wallet data file exists or not and if it exists store the contents of that file into this particular variable then we are configuring our ai agent kit with base sepolia chain or network then we are initializing our llm with gpt4 or mini model you can use any model you want then we are initializing agent kit tools using the configured agent kit which we had created earlier then we are creating a custom twitter tool named send tweet which will handle both replies and new tweets where it checks first if the input starts with the reply colon string then it will split the input into the reply id and the text of the input and then send the request or else it will send it as a new tweet then we are initializing a new memory server instance to store the conversation history and finally initializing our react agent which is a conversational agent which uses the llm tools we just created checkpoints saver which comes from the memory message modifier which contains the prompts for our pod where we are giving it a bunch of prompts for example you are fun and engaging ai agent based on base blockchain you'll perform various tasks we are telling our bot that you have access to base sepolia chain if you need funds you can get it from faucet do not give answers in html or markdown format you can deploy tokens nfts etc and once the ai agent is completely initialized we are exporting the wallet data and saving it in a file so it can be reused and logging this message ai agent initialized on base sepolia then we have a function handle tweet where it checks if the tweet has already been processed or not if it has already been processed it exits and uh, send a message to the console and for new tweets it starts processing the tweets and log the tweet id to the process tweets set then we are creating a stream of interaction with a message which tells our bot process the tweet and use the send tweet custom tool which we just created earlier then we are checking the chunks of conversations between the ai agent and human and if it contains a response from ai agent it will log that 
if it contains a tools execution like deploying this token or sending message it will log that message and if any error occurs it will log the error then we have a class to generate autonomous actions where we have different prompts along with their weights these are the prompts that will be used by our ai agent to send tweets in the autonomous mode and higher the weight higher is the probability of that prompt getting selected then we are calculating the total weight of the prompts and generating a random number and selecting a prompt then we have a function to actually run those prompts which will run after the 600 milliseconds and uh, later on we will set a timeout so that this can be multiplied by 1000 so that if our ai agent is in the autonomous mode it will send out a tweet by selecting these prompts or one of these prompts then finally we have a function check mentions to check for the mentions of our bot using the twitter api and the twitter user id from the environment variable and pass the tweets in the latest processed mentioned ids then we check if mentions has any tweets or not and if it's a retweet it will be skipped and then for each tweet it will fetch the username of the author which will be the user who is tweeting to the bot and then handle tweet is called with the username of the author the tweet id and the text of the tweet and we also have a delay of one second between processing each mention so that we avoid rate limiting on the twitter api then we have the poll mentions function which checks for mentions every 20 minutes and uh, this is how our script looks like and then we have written a bunch of tests to check if our app is working as expected or not now the first thing would be to check if everything is set up correctly by running the test okay so now that the tests are passed let's run our bot under the autonomous mode so as you can see the bot was initialized we got the message agent initialized on base sepolia the wallet file was created and uh, a tweet was sent if we check for the tweet you can see that this was the tweet which was sent a minute ago now let's run the bot in the twitter mentions mode so that it can start polling for the mentions um, but before that let's make a tweet to the bot so that uh, we don't have to wait for another 20 minutes to poll the mention so base bot beta can you please send 0.00001 e to siles and dot ETH? So I'm just asking the bot to send me this much ETH on my ENS. Okay, so I have already tweeted. Now let's run the bot in mentions mode. So as you can see, it has started polling for mentions. It has processed or started processing this tweet with ID. And uh, we got an error that there were insufficient funds. So it received some ETH from the faucet. And uh, then it sent or transferred the funds with this transaction hash. And this is the base scan link and uh, the agent's response was I successfully sent to Silesane and tweeted to Silesane. Okay, let's refresh this. As you can see, our bot has replied and uh, it also has the base scan link to the transaction. And you can see that uh, 0 0.00001 ETH was transferred to this wallet address which is my wallet address associated with my ENS so this is how you can use coinbase AI agent kit to create a AI agent and all the code which we saw will be linked in the description below and every necessary link or helpful link will also be linked in the description below so hope you learned something from this video and if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the quick note YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one bye bye